I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I am going to be showing you how to do the sort of like mermaid plait kind of nail or fishtail plait. Um, but I am going to be showing it you a little different. So what I've decided is to show you how to do it the correct way and how not to do it I suppose. I mean you could do it that way but I'm going to show you the best way to get the crispest lines but then also show you where you might be going wrong with particular colour blocking designs. Now not every colour block design needs such attention to detail but when you're doing something so um, precise and that needs those sharp lines it's definitely advised to take the steps what I am about to tell you. So I've started off as you can see I have my practice tip and my stand um, from Glitter Planet and I'm going to be showing you on this tip today. So I've started off by sculpting the triangle or a chevron shape and I've just used a white acrylic. So here, after the acrylic has set slightly, I do come in with a little blade. Now, I am very new to using a blade to cut acrylic, so it does take a lot of learning and perfecting, but I thought I'd give it a go and try it in this video again. I have tried it previous, but not really that well, if you know what I'm saying, like I haven't followed through with it. I do find it quite difficult, so I still came in with my hand file. This is like my go-to way of um, perfecting acrylic and things like that, just to make sure that everything is nice and precise. So it's extremely important that you do do this when colour blocking such a precise, intricate design to make sure that everything is super crisp. Like, look how sharp that V is. Whereas before the tip of that V was a slight curve, so that would have been an issue when we came to file down the design. So next I'm moving on to the green colour and I've decided to do the Christmassy kind of colours because Christmas is coming and I'm super excited. So I'm just using my brush to move the acrylic from side to side and pat it with the belly of my brush, moving it into position. Now you don't want your acrylic too wet that it's running and won't hold its position, but you also don't want it too dry that it's not manoeuvrable or it sets too quick that you don't get chance to move it into place. You want to make sure that you butt it right up to that previous colour. It's okay if it overlaps because that will file off when we come to file the nail at the end. So don't worry about that. It's just getting the overall shape and precision correct that is really crucial at this point. So usually I can um, get it quite right and perfect with my brush. But this time it just wasn't happening. I think it's because I had the heating on and the, radi the radiator is literally like right behind me and the heat was setting the acrylic quite fast so I didn't get enough time to sort of make sure that that tip was still a super sharp point. But again, that's not a problem because you just want to make sure that you come back in with your hand file to refine and define that edge. And it is super, super important that you do so. So that's what I will do next. So as you can see, it is rounded. So I'm just showing you that, that that point is not precise. It has got an, it is only a dull like round curve, but also that means that the acrylic all the way up isn't even. So you will have a little lip, which I will show you further down in the video, what not to do. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and file that because you really want to make sure it's defined and sharp just as the first one was. So all I use to do that is a hand file. You can get these available from Glitter Planet in packs of five. And I'll have the link down below for you guys if you want to go ahead and check it out. So it is very important as I say to take this step. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They will then without filing continue on to the next step and the next step and the next step and keep adding colours and then they'll come to file and think oh geez like why the heck is my design not crisp and perfect and beautiful and that is because you haven't taken those extra steps to refine the acrylic and it does take a lot of time because you do have to wait for each section to harden to a point where you can file it so um, obviously if you were doing a full set you would move on to some more nails once that's dry come back so it'd be a bit of back and forward back and forward um, doing each bit moving on to another nail doing each bit 
um, but just look at the difference like prior to this prior to the filing it was around and now it's a super crisp sharp edge and you will see the benefits once you finish that nail and I am honestly 100% telling you the truth guys like seriously it's very 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 important to file these like little sections so now I'm moving on to the red and I'm basically just going to do the same thing the whole way down um, adding the colours but at a certain point I will stop filing because I wanted to show you the difference between when you do file and when you don't file and how much of a huge difference that actually does make to the overall design and the overall look of the lines that you are creating. So obviously some nail techs have got it down with the blade and they are amazing and they don't need to do any extra filing or with the wire as well um, I haven't actually tried using a wire I think I will try it but I do want to sort of like see how I am with the craft blade first so yeah if you can do that with that you don't then have to go on file as well because your blade has that crisp edge and that's what it's creating so yeah, I'm just working the acrylic into the shape and for the, this design you're basically just constantly making a V or a triangle shape. So each colour you just bring slightly more down and then you file to shape. As you can see I've filed that and we've still got a triangle. So then you'd move over to the next side and I'm going to continue with the white and bring that further down to meet the red and then I'm going to file that again. I'm not sure if I file that bit. Yeah, I do. I file this last white bit and then we move on to the what not to do. So I'll just finish this and then I will be back. Okay, so as you can see, I have added the white and I have also filed that to a nice sharp point and it's looking all crisp and beautiful. The other lines are slightly looking wobbly, only ever so slightly, but that's just because the acrylic is overlapping. It's not because the lines aren't straight. Once you come and file, that is when you will reveal those super crisp lines. So there I just added a bead that was too dry and please don't be afraid that if you have got a bead that is too dry or too wet just to take it away. Literally don't try and work with it because you'll just completely ruin the whole situation. You'll get yourself in a panic and you'll just feel like slightly defeated. I think that's what I feel like anyway sometimes. If I try and work with something that's not right, you're just creating more work for yourself. You might as well just get rid of it and start again. So I'm coming back in with the correct bead ratio, not too wet, not too dry, but it did set quite fast just because I have the heating on. Um, yeah, so I'm just moving it into place using the belly of the brush and also the point of my brush as well to really push it up into that previous colour. And then I'm just flattening it down. Again, don't worry if it gets over the top of your previous colours because that is where we are going to file and reveal the design. Also, don't be afraid to add in more colour. You don't have to do a line in one huge sweep. Um, you can come in and as you can see, I'm adding a little bit at the back. Just make sure that you blend it down nicely and that it all flows on from one another and that will be absolutely fine.
Okay, so this is the pipe where I'm not going to fail and from here on out you will see at the end result it is a disaster. Um, but I'm going to show you close up and do a freeze frame of where the issue is. Although it looks a nice sharp point at the top, can you see here we've got a lip so the top is further forward than the bottom. So when we come to file that down, the next colour that we apply, which is this red, it has seeped underneath that green so when we file the line is not crisp the color is going everywhere and it's just one huge crazy ass mess that you do not want especially when designs like these do take a lot of time they use a lot more product because you're constantly using your liquid to clear your brush to pick up beads to clear your brush again um i think i filled my little dappen dish up three or four times to do this one nail I know that is absolutely crazy but I clean my brush a lot I don't want to get it clogged up but it just shows how much more product you use when doing designs like this and time as well so do charge accordingly as well if somebody does ask for this particular design or any color blocking designs because they do take more time more skill more effort and more product so I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing the nail so I'm just going to fill it up as I have but without any filing I think I might come in at one point and do a slight bit of filing I'm not entirely sure I can't remember maybe I don't or maybe I try and use the blade again I can't remember um, but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me finish this nail and then I will be back a little later on in the video Okay, so this is how the nail looks now that I've finished applying all of the acrylic and you're not going to encapsulate in clear. All you're going to do is come in with your hand file or your e-file and start filing down the design into shape. So you want to file to the point where you are revealing nice crisp lines. And at a certain point where I stopped at that white, where I stopped filing, you will see that them lines stop being crisp no matter how far down I file or how much I try to refine it. It just doesn't happen because I didn't... Um, I didn't refine the, the lines with my hand file. So as you can see here at the top, from about mm, three quarters of the way, halfway almost, I don't know, um, it's super defined and crisp and exactly how you would want the entire nail to be. And as you can see at the bottom, that's exactly how you don't want the nail to be. So those are my little tips and I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much all I've got to show you. I'm just top coating the nail and I'm going to cure it. And then I've got a little bit to say at the end, which is coming in just a second, which is not a voiceover. I did this at the time of filming. Okay guys, so this is my final nail on what to do and what not to do when color blocking with acrylic. Um, as you can see the top of the nail, I filed afterwards after each um, section had dried to make sure that the acrylic was sharp, crisp and on point just to make sure like all the lines were super straight and exactly how I wanted them and then from here down I just continued to do the nail without any refining or extra sort of like um, extra help I suppose um, and as you can see, the difference in the lines is absolutely crazy. You can see here, 
and even though at the bottom I didn't apply the acrylic like that so as you can see it's sort of like gone underneath and that's exactly what's happened so like the acrylic has had a lip and some of the next colour has gone underneath and then as you file down that's exactly what it reveals so you might as well sort of refine as you go rather than be left with a surprise of a messy nail because if I wanted this design on my nails and then I was like oh my god this is gonna look amazing and I filed and revealed this I would be pretty gutted do you know what I'm saying so I'm just giving you the top tips to make sure that when you are doing color blocking to keep refining you can use nail files and you can also use blades as well I am going to start learning with blades because I do see a lot of amazing techs do it and it looks so effortless. I just need to get the right sort of like moment to um, cut the acrylic but with more practice I definitely will I think enjoy using that technique. So yes this is just a simple short video and I really hope that it helped you guys out and that you absolutely loved it and yes. I'll have some more videos for you guys and I'm just so excited for Christmas and to have lots more Christmas videos up. Also I just want to let you know as well the tip that I practiced on is from Glitter Planet and also is the tip stand as well and you can use my coupon code which is NINJA10 which will give you 10% off your entire order. And the acrylics that I used is NSI's white and then the red and the green are Tones acrylic. And I also have a discount down below if you guys want to use that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and please always remember that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload, let it swing right back.